This is the Flame Leviathan fight. It is the first fight in Ulduar 10 and 25 men. Three classes of vehicles here. You have the small choppers, which do lay down an oil slick, which can be set ablaze to do damage on the target. You have the larger tanks, which have a surface-to-air mounted gun on the top of them. They can also do a ram effect, which causes damage. And then your medium-sized tanks are really your DPS class in this fight. Some main abilities on those, you have a Hurl Boulder for your number one. It does 22 to 37,000 damage per strike. Your number two is a Hurl Pyrite, which floating in the air above you, there are Pyrite barrels on parachutes. Those need to be shot down by your passenger in this vehicle. As they are shot down, you'll see the barrels, which are the blue items on the ground. Those barrels can be collected by that passenger as well with their number three ability, which tosses a hook and then collects that pyrite, recharging it onto the vehicle. The Leviathan does do some pretty su substantial damage. He has a battery and ram effect, as you saw right there, and you'll also see an AoE tick happening on us right now. That AoE is very, very difficult to outrange. It's not a huge amount of damage, but the closer that you get, the faster that damage hits you. The Leviathan also does an aggro switch to which you'll see Deadly Boss Mods counting down right now. And now that we have the aggro on us, the Leviathan's going to, to chase us around for a minute. Your passenger at this point needs to do a direct injection of Pyrite, giving you a 100% movement speed increase for 20 seconds. That'll be enough time to get you out of harm's way from that battering ram from the Leviathan. If your vehicle is damaged to the point of destruction, there are extra slots on each of the vehicles in 10 man. If by chance you do not die when your vehicle is destroyed, loading yourself onto one of the other vehicles will enable you to launch yourself onto the Leviathan. The Leviathan has a movement speed stack that will eventually stack him up to a 100% movement speed increase. For every person that you launch on top of the Leviathan, however, it does deplete the stack. So as a side tactic, we chose not to use it. We chose just to DPS the Leviathan down. But as a side tactic, you can load your extra people onto the Leviathan to slow him down. You'll see Suki grabbing us a couple barrels of pyrite here loading us up with that 50 stack again. These medium-sized tanks do go down through the pyrite very quickly, so it is ultimately incredibly important that your passenger in these medium tanks is grabbing that pyrite and continuing to load it on at every given chance. The driver of the tank while maintaining the DPS on the Leviathan also needs to be able to position themselves to enable the ranged snag of that pyrite on the ground. Leviathan's at about 15% here and we are losing a couple of vehicles very quickly as he does that battering ram. We only lost one person in this fight however. Vanish effects do work. So vanish, feign death, anything of that nature is going to work if you do get knocked off of your vehicle. And there, a good takedown at 3 minutes 57 seconds of the Flame Leviathan. 10 men and 25 men Ulduar. He is your first boss and has earned the nickname the Loot Leviathan.